Growing up with autism, Grant Monnier tore paper to calm his anxiety. Now, as an adult, he uses paper scraps to create artwork that is inspiring. Here's his story. When you think about it, art is important to everyone. It lets us express our feelings. For example, if an artist was angry, he'll throw paint onto the canvas. If he's calm, he'll stroke paint onto the canvas. And if they're happy, like me, they'll tear paper and put it onto the canvas. My full name is Grant Dean Monnier, and I am known as the Eco Artist. I take recycled materials like paper, calendars, magazines, posters, and puzzle pieces, which are my signature mark, and even jewelry, beads, and wood. And I make art out of it. Anything I can use to recycle and create beautiful masterpieces with. Basically, this all started because I have a lot of anxieties because of my autism. Tearing paper and working with paper was a way to soothe those anxieties. He was six years old when I found out. He had high anxiety, beyond normal anxiety, it was extreme. He would perseverate on TV uh, shows. He could repeat them over and over and over for hours, for days. <laughs> I feel relaxed as I work with paper, and I feel connected to something bigger. You can't get rid of autism. It's just something you work with. You just gotta make it your own. With my autism, I'm hyper-focused when it comes to stuff. Once I start seeing things in my head, I just started working with it. I tried paint at first, but I just didn't have the feeling for paint like I did when I was younger, so I decided to try paper instead. Puzzles are the, are the logo for autism, if you've seen the autism logo. Not to mention the puzzles have a lot of unique colors on them. And plus, a lot of people throw them away. If they're just missing one piece, what's the point of having that puzzle, right? I just I take a canvas and I sketch what I see onto that canvas. Once I have that sketched out, then I, I need to find the materials that I need. I need to find the right colors for certain areas. And once I have those, all I need then is glue. Next I need my paintbrush so I can stroke the glue onto the canvas. And then I take a piece of paper and then place it right onto the canvas. And I keep this process up a simple piece would take about a week to make, and a complex piece would take over a month to make. Oh, that greatest feeling I have is when I sign it and it's done. The way I've seen this outlet, this process impact Grant from the age of four to now the age of 21 has been I guess a mother's dream to watch your child grow, especially when they live with autism. Can they grow? Can they go through the process? Can they transition into an adult? You know, they say you must be a proud mom. I don't even know if proud's the word. Maybe I'm in, in awe of what he does and, and how he touches people. It's amazing. Because of my art, I get a lot of opportunities to go to places that I've never been before, like New York City, Washington, D.C., all the friends I get to make, the celebrities, the politicians I get to meet, like the mayor, the governor, and Congress. There's just so many things that are enjoyable about making eco-art. Because of my eco-art, I had a lot of doors opened up to me. But what I want to do in the future is open up a gallery for those who have special needs, like me. Even though you can have a disability like autism, 
you could still turn it around and find the good inside of it and make it positive. Whether you're on the spectrum or not, if you have autism like me, if you're not, don't worry. And if you just, if you just feel different compared to everyone else, that's fine. Remember, it's not what we can't do that makes us different. It's what we can do that makes us more.